We have talked before about how we are pagans, but what does that mean for home education? What does that mean for what we teach our children? And what do we actually believe? Uh, it's something that I don't think even our families truly know because they've never asked. So, and whilst you didn't ask, I'm gonna tell you anyway. And welcome to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three from the UK. If you're new here, welcome. We are a pagan home educating family of five and here we talk about all things home education in the United Kingdom, uh, which some of which applies to other countries too. We also talk about, I also talk about everything that um, encompasses being a mother to my three children and now what also means to be pagan. So I uh, started kind of dabbling in paganism, I suppose, uh, when I was pregnant with Albert, who is almost eight. And um, it was that year that I kind of really, beginning of that year that I discovered it. And then over that year, started really learning about it. And that October is when I celebrated my first Samhain, which looks more like Halloween than it did Samhain, but it was a baby step forward. That December, we celebrated Yule, and then we slowly celebrated the rest of the Sabbaths of the wheel of the year. Uh, so almost eight years later, we have now um, our, my beliefs. I say we, I don't mean we because I mean I. Um, my beliefs have developed to a point where I can kind of give myself a title or a label within paganism, like what type of pagan I am. And uh, yeah, I think this is going to be a really interesting video. So I might even, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have, a, I've got a few questions I'm going to answer and we're going to see what comes up. So. First of all, a brief explanation of paganism. Uh, the word pagan is an umbrella term for people who are not, who are polytheists, who um, believe in more than one God. At one point, I do believe it was a slur, uh, but uh, that word has been reclaimed, thankfully. Um, I came to it through a movement called the Red Tent, which is not exactly pagan, but um, the person who was running it was pagan, and there were lots of people who were pagan who were attending, and it all kind of just evolved from there for me. Um, Pagans typically, the ones that I know, celebrate the Wheel of the Year, which is a series of eight festivals uh, following the seasons, beginning at Samhain on the 31st of October, uh, followed by Yule on or around the 21st of December, um, Imbolg on the 1st of February, Ostara on or around the 21st of March, Beltane on the 1st of May, <sighs> Then Letha are around on or on the 21st of June, uh, Lunasa or Lamas on the 1st of August, and then Maybon on or around the 21st of September. And then the wheel turns and it all begins again, much like the name suggests. It just continues going on and on and on. So this is something that we teach our children. We teach them to celebrate these sabbats or festivals and we we celebrate all of them. Quite often we forget to celebrate Imbolg, which we should really try harder to actually do. But that's usually, that's probably because our children's birthdays are immediately after the festival beforehand, immediately after Yule, like in quick succession. Um, so by the time we get to Imbolg, like we're done of having big fancy meals and doing stuff. We're like, I'm just like, I light a candle and and that's all you're getting. Um, <laughs> so by the time Involk runs around, we're all exhausted. We don't want to do any more celebrating. So we should try. I'm going to try this year. Maybe we'll try this year. Maybe I'll do a video on it and you can see what we do. This will be the first time we've actually managed to celebrate it for a good few years. So um, I would class myself as a Hellenist and uh, I'm still exploring what that means to me in many ways. But on, on the, at a very basic level, it means that... Um, I work with, I follow, I believe in the Greek gods. Um, so those stories of Greek mythology um, are very important to me. I enjoy them very much. Um, it's something that is an evolving process for me. I'm educating myself and learning all the time. Um, but the only thing I teach my children that I've mentioned so far is the Wheel of the Year. I don't necessarily teach them about the Greek gods because I want them to find whatever path is meant to be theirs. I don't believe that... Um, I should teach my children to be pagans. I, They are exposed to paganism, but they're also exposed to Christianity because they have Christian family members. Um, and if they wanted to go to church, I would support that. I wouldn't go with them. I would get someone else to take them because I wouldn't feel comfortable doing that. Um, 
I mean, my heathen ways, um, <laughs> I would, I wouldn't feel comfortable going. Um, however, I would support my child doing what they wanted to do. If they wanted to be baptized, I would attend. If they wanted to be married in church, I would attend and so on and so forth. So, um, uh, and there wouldn't be any like hard conversations in that, in, in that respect, if you know what I mean. So I just sort of tailor out. Uh, she's just there. And there's Lily behind me. Say hi, Lil. She's like, no. <laughs> Anyway, so I don't necessarily really teach my children about Hellenism. Um, oh, sorry, I'm just grabbing something for Taylor. Taylor's like a baby, you know, when they drop things off of high chairs and then they go eh, and expect you to get them. And you pick them up and then they're like, haha, you are now my slave. And it just happens over and over and over again. Well, Taylor's like that, but with her toys and with her chews, she'll be like, oh no, I dropped it, help me. And she'll go oh, 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 until you pick it up for her. Sometimes I just like give her a little nudge off the bed and make her go and do it, but. I just, I just, sometimes I just can't be bothered and I pick it up. It's probably my own fault, really. Anyway, sidebar. So, um, I, I don't say, there's nothing about my faith that I would say to the children, this is true. Um, my, my youngest son sometimes says to me, what do we believe? And I say, we don't believe anything. I believe. What do you believe? Because I want him to come to it himself. And I believe that for children, belief systems are like Santa Claus or the Easter Bunny, or fairies, or anything like that, um, that would be deemed as an essentially a mythical creature, that they, there are different times for different beliefs, and children who are going to go to one religion or another will find it by themselves. I don't believe they need to be led there. If they're going to, like, there we go, see? You've dropped it, haven't you? Ugh. I don't believe, like, you necessarily need to leave them there. I think that you can expose them to it, but then, and teach them what you believe, and then it's up to them to find their path. But that's just me. Um, I don't, I also don't, as you know, if you've watched this channel for a long time, you've watched my videos before, I'm very big on no judgment, especially of parents. We all have our own journeys with our children. Our children are on their own journeys. We're on our own journeys. We're on journeys together. Um, I would never judge a parent for teaching their child, this is the truth. Um, that's fine. Like, you do you, and I've just got to deal with her again the regular occurrence through the video i think but i'll oh, just <laughs> soldier on soldier on so one of the things that i use in my daily practice my faith is the delphic maxims if you're not familiar with those they're essentially a rule book to life that was said to be given to the oracle at delphi by apollo the sun god um it's some really interesting guidelines <laughs> i wouldn't say necessarily rules but they're like heavily suggested guidelines um and uh you should do your best not they're not commandments they're just you should try really hard um so there's quite a few ones there's a very famous one that calls no, that's called that's uh, known as know thyself um and it basically means to really understand yourself be very self-aware um understand why you do things why you behave in certain ways that sort of thing um and that was very very important and it's very important to me as well. There's a few others as well that can be interpreted in different ways. Obviously, they were written, um, you know, really, really early in the, in the ADs uh, or the current era. So it's not, uh, I think it's like 7 AD. So um, it's not necessarily like, it says like educate your sons, but then doesn't mention daughters. So of course, that's, so there's cultural aspects to it as well. Obviously, I educate my daughter. Um, but there are things that I will educate my daughter differently to how I educate my sons. For example, um, spirituality, when it comes to um, a woman's body, I will go deeper and talk more about a femininity with my daughter than I will my sons, for example. Um, not because my sons don't need to know, but maybe because they're just not interested, if that makes sense. Um, but to be fair, my daughter's the age where she's not interested either, so it's nothing personal. <sighs> puppies who doesn't i would very much class myself as a modern hellenist because i'm also a feminist so it's like seriously seriously you're sat on it you've not lost it um obviously like you know ancient greek culture culture was not uh, well set up for women um so very modern hellenist um, so many pagans will have um a patron god or goddess that they work with uh, mine specifically is aphrodite and uh she is um 
not the goddess of sex like everyone thought she is i mean she is but uh mainly she's a goddess of love like kind of you've heard you've probably heard about the uh different types of love that the greeks spoke about well aphrodite is the goddess of all of them whether that's um seriously this, this dog i swear she's dropping dropping things on purpose because i'm not pay paying any attention to her so she's the goddess of all those kinds of love whether that's the love between your partner or the love to your children or the love to a friend um Aphrodite's in charge of all of that. So um, I also work with Hestia. Um, I don't often work with Hera, but uh, occasionally I've been known to um, also Hecate. And uh, they're, but they're my main three, um, Aphrodite, Hestia and Hecate. They're the ones that I work with the most, that I meditate with the most. Um, but again, I don't encourage my children to work with them or honor them in any way uh, that's their own journey if they wish to honor the greek gods then that's that's lovely um but i wouldn't it would be no different to if they said they wanted to um honor the egyptian gods i would be like okay that's fine um i think one of the things that is i believe in it's like trying to entertain a baby when you're trying to do something seriously like ah um one of the things i believe in like um someone in my family said to me recently said like well you don't believe in god and i was like i never said i didn't believe in god like meaning their god the christian god never said i didn't believe in god just said i believed in other ones just like in fact you don't know what i believe because you've never asked me um and i think i don't the reason why i would class myself as a pagan apart from my other beliefs is that i believe in all of them i don't disbelieve any of them i think that um they all exist and i think all religions are valid as long as no one's being hurt and that everyone is safe and loved and well cared for i think that you know that's fine um yes so essentially that's what we believe um i i involve my children in my faith but i don't necessarily kind of as i said i don't force it upon them seriously this i would love to celebrate more um hellenist celebrations like feasts and festivals and all that sort of thing uh but it's just kind of i don't think it's in my it's not like in my headspace um i'll talk more about yule near the time i have a video planned for that where we talk about our celebrations especially this year because this is the first year that we are not celebrating christmas at all um so that'll be interesting but uh yes so that's basically what we believe uh, i do teach my children about paganism but only if they ask to ask to like um charles would class himself as a hellenist as well but he's almost 13 like he's definitely old enough He's definitely old enough to um, decide, I think, at that age. Uh, Bessie and Albert just like coming along for the ride. They're not really interested in any way at any at this point. Um, so Charles does do a paganism curriculum. And I do a very light paganism curriculum with the younger two if they want to. And I actually made that one myself. Um, but the the one I do um, is the post called Potions and Pestles. If you're interested, I'll put a link in the description. Um, and uh yeah we do charles and i do that together and actually it's been an education for me as well because there's stuff in there that i didn't know um if you are interested in paganism you can check out the potions of Vestals. i also have a Samhain nature study um that is probably probably done with it now i think um that you could use for next year i am going to get the u one out at some point but i think i'm going to make them i'm going to make it shorter i'm going to like edit them and make them make it less i think i don't know um i'm sorry for the peppy crying in the background for all of this video she's just just because i'm not petting her <laughs> labradors if you've got one you know <laughs> um so yeah potions and pestles uh the adventure all the way um my adventure all the way one that's in my pay hip shop you can check that out um it's 11 pounds it's really it's really good value uh potions and pestles is very cheap and good value as well i think that's available on etsy but i'll and again i'll put a link in the description um also puka pages or puka pages um again i will put a link in the description for that it's a magazine that was started quite a few years ago now uh, the lady who wrote it has sadly died but i think it's her daughter who's um kept it all open and has then carried it on and is now doing it herself which is amazing because it was it's such a good resource if you're interested in that sort of thing so um i'll share all those in the description below if you're interested uh, there's also some facebook groups that are about pagan parenting and pagan homeschooling or home education uh, i'll share those with you too so thank you so much for watching to my ramblings and the puppy crying annoying but uh, inevitable unfortunately she's just left the room and run downstairs so i need to go and follow her and i need to get this video out for you so i will see you very soon don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already follow me on tiktok 
uh, YouTube, check out my YouTube shorts and follow me on Instagram, although I don't post them there very much. Take care and I'll see you very soon. Thank you. Bye.